Hi guys, as you see my thumbnail, today I am going to discuss you about bus card or tram card in Sweden Gothenburg. But before this, I want to tell you about myself. I am Uma Mundra. Hope you all are doing good and enjoying with your family and friends. God's blessing is always with you. Keep smiling and smiling. Guys, if you are new on this channel, please do subscribe it and click on bell button. As I am going to share many more videos about Gothenburg, Sweden, the schools, public, private, kindergarten schools, the supermarkets, medical shops here. So all these things. So let's start the video. When we reach to Gothenburg, Sweden, the first thought come across our mind like, from where we are going to buy bus card or tram card. So for this, we search a lot in uh, um, Google as well, but we didn't find it. So we just talk to nearby people around us and we come to know like we can purchase our cards from Press by Ren. Here we can get some food item as well, chips, chips, cold drink and all these things. And the... Uh, SIM card as well, they told us there are two types of cards available in Gothenburg, Sweden. Mm, first is green card and second is blue card. Green card is for 90 minutes. It's valid for 90 minutes. And blue card is valid for uh, one month like this. This is the blue card I am having and this is valid for one month. They ask you in which zone you are going to travel. So you should know about the zone as well. So according to that, they recharge it. I also want to add in this, this card is valid for bus as well as for tramps. We are having a app as well. The app name is To Go App. I just showing here a little bit interface of to go app and for more detail you have to click here in this i card and I will also drop the links in description as well. So now initially whenever you reach to Gothenburg Sweden you have to buy this card whenever you get your bank ID then only you would be able to use to go app that will i tell you in detail so how do you use this card for this in the bus we having a this scanner okay we are going to just scan this card there and it will automatically track it and the buses and tram also used to announce the stations the next station thereafter the station as well but sometimes their accent are totally different as they used to speak swedish so for this we also use the google map directions so we just come to know easily where we are going to get down guys i also want to add in this like if you are close to your uh, station a bus stop or a bus like tram station you just need to get up and go and click on the red stop button otherwise your bus will take you to other stop that's all about today this best traffic this is a vast traffic card this is for both bus and tram if you guys want to see more videos about gothenburg and sweden please please do subscribe it and like it 